This year's Nobel Prize for Chemistry goes to three laureates on three continents. Akira Suzuki in Japan, Eiichi Nagishi in America, and Richard Heck, now retired in the Philippines. Hello, birdies. Working separately, they have pioneered the development of a process which has paved the way to creating new medicines and revolutionary materials. The process, known as palladium catalyzed cross coupling, was first discovered by Richard Heck more than 40 years ago and has been refined since then by Nagishi and Suzuki. The three laureates have developed a chemical reaction to link carbon atoms using the silvery metal palladium as a catalyst with an activator such as iodine. Palladium works as a point of rendezvous to bond the carbon atoms without being affected itself, a little like a priest at a marriage. Usually, carbon atoms are difficult to unite, the process requiring a great deal of energy. The work of the laureates has enabled carbon atoms to be joined more easily and efficiently with less waste. Since his retirement, Richard Heck has been living in Quezon City with his wife. I am quite unaware of what's been done since I retired. I, I've not been keeping up with it. I did my share, so I, I'm going to rest now and let somebody else do it. <laughs> Richard Heck's love of chemistry began in childhood. It started uh, when I was a teenager. My parents bought a house in California, and it was uh, a, just a house on a piece of desert. So I had the job of uh, landscaping, so I had to learn how to plant plants and learn about fertilizers and sprays and things like that. And that got me interested in chemistry, the fragrances of flowers and things like that sort of intrigued me. So I had started learning chemistry. When Heck started out on a career in chemistry, companies were looking for ways to produce the useful chemicals found in nature. An efficient method for joining carbon molecules to make new industrial chemicals was a priority. Heck began his research in industry. They weren't interested much in the chemistry unless it was making them money, so that's why we parted company. So, and then I went to the University of Delaware, where I was much happier. Heck was now free to explore his passion for chemistry. I didn't pick palladium because I thought it would be uh, do cross coupling. I just picked it to see what kind of chemistry it would do, and it didn't suddenly come Eureka and I did something. It was just sort of piddling around in a laboratory and seeing what happened. I'm glad I did something that turned out to be useful. Yes, indeed. I haven't made a cent out of it, so that, that hasn't been financially of any value to me, but uh, it certainly kept me eating anyway d during my career. Heck's work aroused the interest of Eiichi Nagishi at Purdue University in the States. Professor Heck was a pioneer. In the end, we came up with a coupling chemistry that is uh, very much more broadly applicable than what uh, Professor Heck came, you know, came up with. Studying at Purdue in the 1970s, Nagishi was inspired by the work of an earlier Nobel chemistry laureate, Herbert Brown. When I heard about my winning the Nobel Prize, of course, one of the first persons whom I wanted to tell this news is uh, Professor Brown. I learned uh, this eternal optimism from him and then keep growing this little bud into tall oaks. Nagishi began to work refining the Heck reaction, 
Within a year, he found the key. Using zinc molecules with palladium made the process far more efficient. This is a active reagent for the cross cupping, the Negishi version. Once you can you find these kinds of tool or methods, you can synthesize a wide variety of uh, compounds. Many of them, we hope, are of our uh, you know use to to mankind. Nagishi's discovery has been important in synthesizing new medicines and in electronics. Oftentimes I feel that the chemists are like a puppeteer, you know, and uh, uh, we need to be able to pull the right strings at the right time uh, to be a successful chemist. The story didn't stop there. In Japan, another chemist thought he could improve the reaction yet further. Professor Akira Suzuki at the University of Hokkaido in Sapporo. Suzuki is the first person from Hokkaido University to be awarded the Nobel Prize. They had a very big uh, welcome. I could be very happy. I was so surprised. People also asked me, do you have any different uh, feeling? I always say, I don't have any big change. Almost the same. I never had uh, this kind of very hectic uh, time, only this time, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Suzuki became interested in how boron, when used with palladium, could be used to make the reaction much less toxic and much more specific. The Suzuki reaction is now used widely across the chemical industry. We don't have any resources. If in the Japanese future, only one way to live is in Japan, we found new technology or new science to make a uh, new technology. Then we can make a uh, nice product. Then we sell such a product to all, the, all over the world. The professor also has personal reasons for celebrating the benefits of the Suzuki reaction. Oh. Recently, a medical doctor says the blood pressure is a little bit high, not so serious, but a little bit high. So she recommended me to drink the, this medicine. This medicine the, made by Suzuki cross-coupling reaction. That is one example, you know. Usually, uh, now we, largely retired from chemistry, Professor Suzuki concentrates on writing books. And today, he's celebrating his Nobel Prize with sake. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Kanpai. OK. All right. <laughs> okay, you too. Kampai, yeah? Kampai. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine, fine.